So here we're looking at the Ford Triton spark plug repair kit. I have the 5.4. Uh, this is the CTA part number 98140. I followed the instructions when installing after blowing a spark plug out of the head. This is for a 1999 Ford Expedition. So I'd say maybe like two to three months later, I, I had a misfire and I didn't think it could be the spark plug since I had just replaced it. So I went through the headaches of moving the injectors around. I actually had cleaned the injectors, moved them around, still had a misfire on number three. Then I uh, replaced all the coils, still had a fire misfire on number three. I take the spark plug out and what comes along with it is the sleeve that I had installed with this kit. So, uh, and then of course you can see down inside that the insulator is completely gone. Here's what a new spark plug would look like. So now I start to worry because <clears throat> um, to install this sleeve requires this installation kit here. And uh, this tool is used to put the sleeve in there. The sleeve is already on and you would slide the sleeve in and then you would back the tool out. The problem is that this sleeve wants to come out, back out with the tool and I fear that this sleeve would come out partially and then eventually get driven into the, uh, the cylinder. So uh, anyway, once the sleeve, if, if done properly, is left in the head, the tool gets turned upside down and it's tapped on top to flange out the uh, the sleeve so the the sleeve would set itself into the head. Um, I have to tell you that I've I've changed the spark plug in this cylinder probably about six times. It only lasts about three months before it blows apart the the insulator. But each time the sleeve comes out with it, you can see that I had put on the orange silicone as as recommended by the manufacturer of this this setup. So I went online and uh, did some more research on other systems. However, none of the sleeves from the other systems are compatible. So that's the point of this video here, is before you spend the money like I did for, for other types of sleeves. Um, you know, this one here, this is from the um, TimeCert company, and I'll give you the part number right there. It's part number 51459. <clears throat> so you'll need the, the complete uh, installing kit to, to use these uh, inserts. But this insert here, the way this one works, if you use the uh, the system that comes with it, what happens is the last thread uh, would push. It's like a so like a, a setting or something against the threads in the head, preventing the sleeve from coming back out. If you were to change the spark plug again. This has a nice ridge on top, so it prevents the sleeve from going through the head into the cylinder. The uh, other company that I looked at is the uh, the Mountain Spark Plug Insert, uh, part number MTN9201. And this one here is, you can see it's much larger, also has the um, flange on top. And I think what this utilizes the um, um, force from the, the tool to, to install this, so it's it's tight into the head. Unlike the one from CTA, the recoil company, and this is all that it would hold into the head once it's flanged out. Um, so, anyway, rather than uh, buying the tool, each of these tools range anywhere from like two to five hundred dollars, depending on where you find them, who has them, and stuff like that. But the uh, you can see that the, the mountain company uses a nice thick insert and uh, a heavy flange on top. And I believe that once this is um, torqued into the head, that this would resist coming out with the spark plug. Um, but you know what, even if it did, you put the spark plug back into it, you don't have to worry about driving it through the head. This one here is gonna require some finesse. Uh, what I wind up doing with, with the CTA brand so I put the sleeve on using a, a bunch of cloths around the sleeve 
and a pair of pliers, I force the sleeve back onto the spark plug, which then will follow the taper up and it'll expand the top. So that'll prevent driving the plug and the sleeve into, into the cylinder. Um, I kind of like this time cert here. Unfortunately, if I was to, to redo the head, I don't think I would use the time cert at this point because I've already opened it up and you can see that the, um, the diameter of CTA and time cert are, are similar. So I couldn't, you know, the threads are not the same. The time cert's a little bit larger than the CTA. So I would not be able to use the, the re-threading tool to uh, put this back in. Um, if you made a mistake, I would feel comfortable with going with uh, the mountain company against MTN9201. Um, you know, if you if you made a mistake, uh, there's there's enough room on here to uh, I'll lay them next to each other. So you can see it to re-thread the head. You can see the difference in the in the diameter. So uh, I, I hope this review kind of guides you in your choice and selection of the two tools. I'm sorry, the three tools here in making your repair.